All right, go away now. Let's start again. Dink. See those ghosts? Yeah. They're all friends of mine. Yeah, they'll be fishing out of your bait tank if you don't watch out. Well, why not? When the girls follow a boat from a home port, Ding, that's a good sign. A watch? Tuna! Get ahead! Where did I get it? Let's go! <laughs> thing about music. Some tunes make your feet dance, and others your heart. Ah, uh, you've been doing okay on this trip without music. What do you mean, without music? Why, that old wedding march has been ringing in my ears ever since that sister of yours agreed to throw you over for me. Well, that's all right. I raised her from a pup, and I'm glad to get rid of her. As long as it's for you. You won't be sorry, Walking. I'd die to make Maria happy. What have you got there? Oh, that's a boat I made with a kid. You think he'd like it? Jack, he'd like anything you made for him. Too bad you don't like his uh, mother. Yeah, it's tough, ain't it? You know, I can't figure you out, Joaquin. Why you let her ornery father and brother stop your marriage is beyond me. You and Jean are nuts about each other. The kid's crazy about you. For well, me, I'd tell the whole Fenderson family to go fly a kite. All right, Mr. Delson, I'll take over. You better go below and get some sleep. I think you're going to need it. Well, I suppose if you're ever going to marry Jean, I'll have to kill off the rest of the Fendersons. Hey, you let me take care of Jean, will you? Sure, sure. <laughs> Tell you I won't have a daughter of mine associating with him. A thieving portrait who hides behind an Irish name. I won't have it, you understand? I won't have it. No? Well, I'm pretty fed up with what you won't have and what I can't do. I'm through taking orders and being bulldozed. I love Joaquin Shannon. My baby loves him. And we're going to be with him every chance we get. Oh, no, you're not. I'll have something to say about that. Dad's right about him, sis. The guy's no good. And he'd be more no good after I get through with him. I'll run him off the waterfront. Jean! Jean, the boat's in! It's time to get out of here, Mother dear. Yes, darling, right now. I'll have the boy taken away from you. Take him with you, Maria. All right. Hurry, Jim. Yeah, I'll be right along. Hurry, Mommy. Hurry, yes, yes. You know, you don't frighten me anymore. Jackie's mine, and nobody can take him away from me. Oh, yes, they can. When a mother endangers a child's welfare. His welfare? Why didn't you think of his welfare three years ago when he was sick and needed it? When he needed a doctor, food, medicine? No. Oh, no. I married his father against your wishes, and that was that. Well, you're not going to mess up my life a second time. You're wasting your breath on Jean. There's only one way to settle this. You leave it to me. I'll put an end to the Shannon business. Oh, oh Maria! Oh, I can't. Uh, oh. Oh. Hey, you sure look good. Oh, darling, it's so good to see you. <laughs> Hello, matey. Oh, Captain. Oh, Chris. Oh, Chris. Everything ship shape? All right, sir. Where's the skipper? Grump's fighting with her. Oh, mutiny, eh? Crew prepared to board an attack. Hup. Hello, Shannon. Hello, Paulo. 
Hi, Joaquin. Hello. You have any tune to this trip? Plenty. How you been, kid? Okay. I'll be out of school soon and ready for that job you promised me. Oh, it takes a man to heave in tuna, fella. Look. Three of them. Holy smoke. When it gets so you can't count them, I'll give you a job. Gee, thanks, Joaquin. Go on, kid. I don't know, mate. What do you think? Well, maybe because Mommy loves you. How do you know? She told Grant. Gee! Joaquin! Stand by, matey, while I talk to the skipper. Now, let me have a good look at you. Oh. Yep, you're the same gal I've been seeing every night. Such blind it, Captain Shannon. Dean, you're all shaky. What's the matter? Just the excitement of seeing you, I guess. The old man's been after you again, hasn't he? This time I walked out for good. Well, glory be, now we're getting someplace. Oh, Wookie, right here in front of the seagulls and everybody. Sure, I want witnesses so he can't change your mind. Oh, that's not likely. Maybe, what do you think about me getting married? You lost, Cap? Yeah, see if you can talk the skipper into it, will you? Can we please, Mommy? Well, I, I don't please. know. Please. <laughs> well, well, Maria. We're going to take Jean home with us. Oh, all of my Oh, listen, I And don't let him out of your sight till I get there. Oh, no, listen, I can't. Now, shove off, Skipper, shove off. We've got work to do. Oh, come on, Jean. Take over, matey. Hey, what's this all about? Now, pipe down, bridegroom. You're on your way to Father of Tools in the barber shop. Oh, you're nuts. We've a lot of fish to unload. Dang and I'll take care of that. You've got plenty to do. There's going to be a wedding tomorrow. Come on, get going. Yeah, it's been a lot all these months. We'd be having a double wedding tomorrow. Oh, I've been so busy trying to get you two out of my hair, I haven't had time for anything else. Oh, anxious to get rid of me, huh? I can hardly wait. Oh, well, won't be long now. Oh, brother, you turned out. Oh, Chris, baby. Hey, pipe down. There's a kid in the house now. Oh, oh, don't worry. He's sound asleep. Find everything you need to do. Yes, everything's wonderful. But it does seem too bad for Joaquin, putting him out of his room. Well, oh. uh, from the rumors we've heard, I'd say it was only going to be temporary. Huh? <laughs> Joaquin Shannon, what have you told him? Oh, I told him you were so crazy about me, you couldn't take no for an answer. Oh, you did. Uh, uh, give us a kiss, will you? Yeah, give us a kiss, huh? Oh, there you go. Easy, the both of you. Go up your old stag Come party. on, boy, we're not wanted here. <laughs> <laughs> What's the big shindig about? One of the boys getting hitched tomorrow. <laughs> And fellow citizens. For tonight, we lose one of our best friends. For tomorrow, he becomes a bride. <laughs> How am I doing, Chap? For a craft of three sheets in the wind, you're doing all right. And it's my night to howl, ain't it? You bet it is, mate, so howl away. Yippee! <laughs> hey, drink up and have another. Come on, let's oh. go. Carry on. Here's to you. Hello, Joe. What's it going to be, boys? What do you have, matey? Bourbon. So yourself. All right, you can howl and walk at the same time, can't you? Now, come on. Yippee! <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> now, sit there and get some air. I can howl when I'm walking, but I can't howl this. Hey, Shannon. There's a lot of things you and me got to settle. One of them is this business of you and my sister. So? Yeah. 
Well, don't start nothing you can't finish. I'll finish it, all right, if you don't keep away from Jean. Well, don't lead me to a chin joke. I don't want no trouble. But if you keep on asking for it, I'll give it to you. You and who else? <laughs> When that guy hits him, they're chloroformed. Now go over your fun, mates. I got the bride room outside. Air it. I gotta storm away. Hey, Dick. <laughs> Take care of things, will you? <laughs> <laughs> well, kids. You, Shannon. Where are you going this hour of the night? What's up? <whistles> Joe Fenderson, out cold. Someday one of you boys are really going to get hurt. Well, I was just on my way back to the boat and I found Fenderson stretched out there cold. Somebody must have beat me to it. That's going to be hard to make anybody believe. Come on. What happened? Well, I. Well, Fenderson asked for it, and I let him have it. That was pretty stiff bail, but I knew you wanted out. You said it. I'd have gone nuts in that cage before morning. Uh, can I give you a lift? No, thanks. You beat it on back home and get to bed. Good night. Good night. Come on, now. Snap out of it. A fine mess you made of easy. Where are we going? We're going to bed, you dope. But you ought to be in the Husqvarna. Who's what? Come on, sail and navigate. Here comes the groom, stiff as a broom. Oh, don't rub it in, will you? I can't take it this morning. No, that's not what you said last night. Oh, why did you let me take on such a cargo? Oh! 
I feel like a pile driver hit me on the head. So, so that's what happened. Um, uh, Joe took a second, huh? Joe, last night? Oh. What would you? Oh, quit kidding me. I wasn't that stiff. No, you wasn't stiff. How do you think you got aboard, my lad? Well, I, I... Gee, I don't know. I don't even remember leaving the gang. Hey. <laughs> well, do you remember you're supposed to be head man of the wedding in about an hour? Yeah. Head man is right. I'll probably cut it off shaving. <laughs> well, do a good job. I'll go and prepare the bride for the worst. Uh, you're a swell brother-in-law. I'm Maria Colleen Shannon. I'm Maria Colleen Shannon. Take thee, Christopher Nelson. Take thee, Christopher Nelson. For my lawful husband. For my lawful husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this When are you coming to my wedding? Shh. For better so? or worse. Yes, now be quiet. For richer for poorer. Richard in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. With this ring, I thee wed, and plight unto thee my troth. <laughs> All right, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, to the bride and the groom. Bottoms up, everybody. Yeah, there we are. Are. All everything. We've a toast. For the bride and groom to be, Jean and Joaquin. Somebody at the door, Joaquin. Oh, good evening. Everybody's here. I'll see who it is. Brady, the can. Well, I'm glad to see you. You just missed a wedding, but there's plenty of grub and other things if you guys are off duty. Come on in. Sorry, Joaquin. We're here on duty. Yeah. Chief wants to see you down at headquarters. But I posted bail last night. Tell him I'll see him later. I can't run out on the kid's wedding. Afraid you'll have to, fella. Joe Fenderson cashed in about a half an hour ago. Joe? Did? Yeah. Skull busted. He never came to. Gee, that's tough. Plenty. On you. It's a manslaughter rap. Me? But I didn't. No, sure, we know. It's just one of them tough breaks. Yeah. Well, uh, would you guys do me a favor? Name it, brother. Oh. Wait outside, will you? Sure. Joaquin, I'm going to cut the cake. Shove off, kid. I'll be there. Take your time. The car will be down the street. Thanks. I'm not your husband. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, make a wish. You make it for me. Smooth seas, kid, and a full cargo of happiness. And you see that she gets it, you lucky guy. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll only beat her once a day. <laughs> I'll take this tomorrow, too. Go and get it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The man worthy of you, he is, my dear. Ah, uh, there's only one Joaquin Shannon, father. So, making love to my girl behind my back, eh? Such talk. Tis a disgrace. Sure, I'll not be marrying the likes of you to a nice girl. She is kind of nice, ain't she? And it's much happiness she'll be having the pair of you. Now leave me to my cake. Be off with you. All right, father. Why are you looking at me like that? Just getting an eyeful. 
Then you are one, too. <laughs> Take off those glasses, Captain. They're fooling you badly. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I've been chipped. See? <laughs> I, I've got to run down to the dock a minute, honey. Take care of things for a while. Don't be long, huh? Anything wrong, Red? Little weather ahead, Ding. Stick with the ship. It. You will telephone the paper and deny it. Deny you have any connection with Joaquin Shannon. Oh, no, I won't, Father. You're going to uphold your brother's murderer? I love Joaquin Shannon, and I'm going to stand by him. Joaquin Shannon? You have been found guilty of manslaughter as charged. Have you anything to say before sentence is pronounced? No. And the sentence of this court is that you be committed to state prison for a term of not less than one and not more than ten years. Take care of her now, Chris. You know, I kind of spoiled her before you come along. Sure, Keith. Okay. Thanks, Skipper. Say, do you suppose... Suppose what? Do you suppose a gal could stick around a year, waiting for a guy? The gal loved the guy, the way I love you. Then you got a date, about this time next year. Huh? Yeah. It's customary for inmates to say sir when addressing prison officers. We want to help you, but we can't unless you help yourself. By your own acts, your attitude, your conduct, you make your own record. Don't let other prisoners get you into trouble. Mind your own business, hold your temper, respect yourself, and show respect for others. So that when you come up for parole, you'll be able to show the prison officials that you deserve another chance. It's up to you, Shannon. Read this book of rules carefully. That's all. Come on. This way, Fish. Here's a fresh fish for you, Cappy. In with you. Put your duffel on that bunk, lad. Fisherman, eh? News travels fast in here. Seems a million miles away, don't it? 
and you get a cold, crawling emptiness way down deep. Life's betrayed you. There's no such thing as justice and right. <laughs> I know. Most of us feel that way when we first come in. Not me. I got my sights set on a year from now. A year? Yeah, my lawyer says I'll be out of here in a year. You might, with good behavior. Well, that's a sense, then, if it's up to me. Yeah, it is, mostly. The warden and the captain of the yard are right guys. Most of the guards are okay. But it's still a penitentiary. Being caged up like this does something to a man. This squirrel cage isn't gonna get me. How'd you make out today? I'd probably do better heaving tuna. <laughs> hey, are you a southpaw or a right-hander? How long are you in for? You know, if you're a lifer, you gotta go on Grogan's team. I only get the short termers. What's he talking about? Oh, this is Soapy, manager of the prison Green Sox. Soapy, this is Shannon. Hiya. All I care about is do you play baseball. You know, the thing that burns me up about this joint, I no more get a good man developed or I'll lose him. How come? Didn't they pardon my best pitcher this morning? I'm sorry, but I'm not a ball player. You ain't? Well, why did you say so? Still got your sights set on that year? You blame me? Mm. Something to aim at, son. You stick with it. There's trouble brewing today. I can smell it. Sure he is. I just heard the screw tell the chaplain. All right, come on, boys. Break it up. Break it up. Come on. Hey, fellas. Break it up. Okay. Oh, Hello, Father. Hello, Captain. Welcome home. Welcome home. Hello, there. Hi, boys. Hi, boys. So that's Big Red Kincaid. Yeah. He's a good guy to stay away from in here. He's always been dynamite. Don't worry. I'm not sticking my neck out. Hello, Sophie. Hi, Red. Hey, what are you in for this time? Ah, Damon Fresno shot off her mouth to the parole office. How's the alarm, eh? Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, not bad. Say, I hope you haven't lost that old control and the speed. Remember that last game we had with the lifers? Do I? <laughs> oh, what a game. 17 strikeouts and you beat the screw with a wild pitch. <laughs> I'll never forget the sound of that ball when it smacks this screw right between the eyes and he goes out like a light. <laughs> oh, so you're just a little ray of sunshine, huh, Red? Yeah. I was just telling Sophie a little story I brought from the outside. Pure panic is too. Well, I hope you brought a lot of them, Red. You're paying us quite a visit this time. That screw was always too fresh. 
And I got a few new tricks that'll put him in his place. Yeah? Yeah. There's gonna be a lot of changes made around here before I'm through. Sit down, Strike. Big Red says so. Big Red said? Sit down, Strike. Tomorrow at 10. Big Red says. Sit down, Strike. Sit down, Strike, eh? What do I care? The warden's tough your baseball game. Well, Red says they ain't got no right to take away our recreation. Hey, what about you, Fish? Count me out. I'm keeping my record clean and minding my own business. Just what is your business? So you're keeping your record clean, huh? Well, listen, you're no better than anybody else in this joint, or you wouldn't be here. Get this straight, Red. I'm not taking orders from you or anybody like you. Fish, don't pull that kind of stuff on me and get away with it. You and me better understand each other. You may be a big shot to some of these guys, but to me, you're just a cheap crook. Why, you dirty, lying Portuguese mix? Get out! Red, you always were a troublemaker. You don't seem able to behave yourself outside or inside prison. Shannon, your record shows that before you came here, you had a reputation of being too handy with your fists. Your brawl today was responsible for injuries to a guard and two prisoners. We won't have you to save yourselves. I didn't start, Warden. And I suppose you didn't either. Sure, I started it. We'll be in solitary for both of them. But it'll give you a chance to cool off and think things over. Take them out. Here. If I had my way, you'd get a pardon for giving Red the works. Shannon. Okay, Jim. Take him to his cell. I can understand why a lot of men leave prison worse than they come in. I sent you a message, Fish. What about it? I said, what about it? Well, this is the boy you can. I forgot anything could be so beautiful. Oh, darling. How's the mate? He's growing like a weed. And Chris and Maria? They're still in the honeymoon stage. They sent you their love. How's old Ding getting along? Well, he and Chris will do all right when they get their skipper back. You know, you're still the only fisherman on the Pacific to them. It's only six months now. Yes, I know. Your lawyer said you were certainly for a parole. Do you need anything? 
yesterday. They treat you all right? Say, this is the softest year's cruise a guy could want. Don't let's talk about that. I just want to look at you. to get $15 a week and a raise if I make good. Aren't I a businesswoman? For well, my money, you're everything. <laughs> Time's up. I'll be seeing you, honey. Don't forget we got a date. That's only six months off. I won't forget. Just don't you stand me up. So long, Billy. Bye, darling. Funny business, eh? All right, turn it off. This yours, Shannon? Yeah, I must have dropped it. Brother, you broke it. This will fix you up fine. Here, none of that. I didn't write that. I never saw it before. Tell it to the warden. Come on. Good luck, stir, dude. You did that, didn't you? Oh, not me. I'm keeping my record clean and minding my own business. the same sort of physical violence which brought about your conviction on a manslaughter charge. After careful consideration and aware of the responsibility which society has imposed upon this board, we cannot do otherwise than to deny your parole at this time and fix your sentence at five years, ten months of which sentence you have already served. Who's next? Telegram for Shannon. I'll take it. Must be you, lad.
get out of the yard, there's going to be trouble. What's up? Big Red and some others got guns. They're going to try and shoot their way out, fools. Come on, let's duck. Just a minute, sir, dude. Stand still. I got use for you two guys. Walk ahead of me and do just as I say or I'll let you have it. Come on. out there with machine guns. What do you think I brought you two along for? Get going. Get going or I'll let you have it right here. What you did took nerve, Shannon. I guess you mean what Cappy did. You could have taken the credit for it. Most men would. I'm not asking any favors. Well, the board thinks you'll rate one. They've granted you a parole. Now live up to its conditions, Shannon. And in three years, you'll regain all your rights of citizenship. Violate it, and you'll be back in here. Don't worry. My plans will never bring me back here again. Well, good luck to you, Shannon. Thanks. You need a good hand. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, Keen. <laughs> Why didn't you let us know what train you was coming on? We'd have been there with bells on. That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> My golly, it's good to have you back. And you're looking all right, too. And I'm feeling more all right every minute. Say, how's my girl? Well, nothing wrong with her that seeing you won't cure. <laughs> Thanks, Sting, for taking care of things. I seem kind of strange around here without Chris and Maria. Hey, did Jean tell you about the job she got for me? Yeah, in a cannery. And you the best tuna skipper on the coast. Yeah, well, without anything to skip her. You know, a parole man's got to have a job waiting for him. Well, I'll get myself squared around soon. Maybe I'll get another boat. Sure you will. But if this tub was mine, you wouldn't have to go any further. <laughs> well, Ding, I got to be getting home. stood you up on that date we made two years ago. Oh, but we're keeping that date, darling, aren't we? Those two years are gone, Joaquin. Gone as though they'd never even been. Our life starts now. Now, together. Well, it's not as easy as all that. I'll be on parole for three years. I know, sweet, I know. But once we're married and you've got your feet on a deck again, all of this is going to be just like a bad dream. You don't understand, honey. We can't be married. We can't be married? Not until I'm released from parole. But why? A why for home responsibilities? Why, they give a man something to work for, to live for. No, I guess they got it figured out different. Maybe they don't want a guy to have anything to live for. Oh, darling, let's fool him. We've waited two whole years to keep a date without each other. Together, we ought to be able to wait a little bit longer, huh? With you on deck, a guy can wait forever. Well, Jean, this is a surprise. It's also a surprise to you that Joaquin was discharged from the cannery today. I'm not interested. No, I know. You're only interested in punishing me through Joaquin. It's not my fault you chose a murderer. Joaquin didn't kill Joe. But even if he had, he's paid the penalty the law demanded, and he has a right to existence, a right to an honest livelihood, and you shan't defeat him. I don't have to. His prison record will do that. When you get tired of supporting your ex-convict sweetheart... Why, he... Cat 
gave it to you. Sure. And you're gonna get me skates, too. Isn't he keen, Mom? Sure. Now, this is for you. For me? Well, what happened? I got a job. No. Now, I'm skippering a tuna boat for an Eastern outfit that just started up. 75 bucks a week and a percentage. Oh, that's too good to believe. No, it's only the beginning. We're going places from now on, you and me. We'll show them they can't keep a good guy down. Hello, Chief. Well, aren't you a little ahead of schedule, Sheriff? Yeah, I just dropped in to tell you I won't be able to report till late next month. Why not? Oh, I'm back in the business, I know. Skipper on a tuna boat. She sails tomorrow. I'll be down off the coast of South America this time next month. Did you read your parole carefully? Sure. Then evidently you've forgotten that you're forbidden to leave the state of California. I'm sorry, Shannon. It's a tough break. Oh, but you don't understand. It needs a fresh start, a future. I know. And I wish there was something I could do about it. But no one can. It's the law. Hi, Shannon. These jailbirds sure get around, don't they? <laughs> Need a good man, mister? All right, we're laying men off, not hard. Nothing today. Ah, oh, it's a swell night, isn't it? Look, Joaquin, look, a falling star. Make a wish. Getting a little tired of wishing, darling? A little. You know, I was just wondering. Things are a little slow here in Port Harbor. Maybe, maybe if you went on to another town where there's more activity... So, you think they got me on the run, huh? Oh, no. Well, don't you worry. I'll get a job, and right here, too. Now, come on. Tell me good night and send me home. <laughs> oh, darling, I don't like the idea of you bunking on that smelly little boat. After all, this is your home, and Jackie and I... Make it a home, and that's that. You know, I think I'm going to like you when I get to know you better. Good night. Mm -hmm. Aren't you walking, Shannon? Yeah. Sorry, it's a rule of the company not to hire men who are on parole. Same old story. I'm beginning to think you had the right idea about my getting out of town. Oh, nonsense. Things are picking up. You're bound to get something soon. That's what I thought. But when a job's not forbidden by a guy's parole, he's poison anyway, because he's been in prison. Uh, how on earth do they expect a parole man to make a living? <laughs> they don't give you the answer to that one. A wolf at the door with every parole, huh? Well, we'll fool him and eat him. And that's an idea. They say they're very tasty stuff with ripe California technicalities. <laughs> How did I ever fall for a dizzy dame like you? I don't know. How did you? Jackie! Jackie, what on earth? What's the matter? What happened? Hey, fella, what have you been doing? I had a fight. A well, fight. did you oh. win? Yes, he did. And you're not this cold as him. It was in a good cause. But a bit of soap and water wouldn't hurt him. No, we'll go do a little repair work. Come on, darling. Well, how do you like that? Yeah, little cuss, ain't he? Pretty well bunged up. It's not his body that's aching, Joaquin. It's the loyal heart of him. What do you mean, father? Well, uh, you know how these young hoodlums are. They're pretty free with their tongues and... Uh, well, Jackie'd have none of it where you were concerned. I see. But not a word to him. You're not supposed to know. I understand. Thank you, Father. That's all right, my boy. Yeah. 
The only way, King. I've been too dumb to see what all this was doing to Gene and Jackie. But I sure got wise to myself this afternoon, and I'm getting out. Well, I don't know, but maybe it's a good idea. Get away for a while. Get yourself squared round. Things will be mighty different. When you come back, well, you can tell them all where to head in. Try to make Jean see it that way, will you? Don't she want you to go? She don't even know I'm going. A little too tough to say goodbye. I'll write to her when I get set. Well, good luck to you, lad. I'm betting on you. Thanks, Dean. Time to look out after things, will you? So long. Hi, bar boy. Uh, give us some of that oldest two-year-old whiskey. you remember me? Yeah, how are you, Soapy? When'd you get out? About six months ago. Hey, you don't look like you've been eating very regularly. No, I'm on a kind of a diet. It's good for the indigestion. Yes, well, I don't know diet. I need company. Let you and I sneak up on a couple of T-bones, huh? Okay. Well, I get the old Green Sox team in a championship form. Series stands three to three, and the big game's coming up. What do you suppose happens? My time's up. <laughs> Feel a little better? Like a million, thanks to you. How come you're broke? No, nah, folks don't seem to want to hire parole convicts. You mean to tell me you've been trying to find a job? And how? No wonder you're starving to death. Why don't you get wise to yourself? There's a lot of shortcuts to easy dough. Mm, I don't know anything that ain't crooked. I don't fall for that stuff. I don't either. I don't have nothing to do with any racket that ain't on the up and up. You know, I might be the answer to your maiden's prayer. You're a sailor, ain't you? I used to be. I skipped my own tuna boat for five years. You mean you can steer them and uh, find places? And... Sure. Uh, like maybe as far away as South America? Oh, I made Ecuador many a time. Ecuador? Is that a lady bullfighter? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a port in South America. Brother, you've got a job. You're the skipper of my new boat, the Lottie B. Sure. And me and the Lottie B is going to take you to South America, huh? I think I'm kidding, huh? I just bought it. There she is, all clear and free, waiting for us to go aboard. Well, what do you want with this? It's a fishing boat. Right down your alley, ain't it? Here's a little dough. You go out and buy yourself whatever you'll now, need. Now, wait a minute, Soapy. I'll give you mixed up with anything phony. You don't think I'd get a pound of jam, do you? Now, look. Here's the setup that's a pushover. Nah, thanks just the same, Soapy. But I'm afraid this is not the kind of a job I'm looking for. All right. Have it your own way. I think you're making an awful chump out of yourself. Maybe. But I have to play it the way I see it. Thanks for the feed and the offer, Sophie. Okay. I still think you're a hundred percent chump. Thanks. Oh, you don't get the idea, Sophie. I'll get a job pretty soon. I'll be back on my feet again. I won't have anything to worry about. Well, so long. So long. Your name's Walkin' Shannon, isn't it? Yeah. You're wanted as a parole violator. 
Come along. Take me back. Can't figure you is talk about jobs and going straight and all the time you're hiring a firecracker. You nuts? Say, you still want a strip of that boat of yours? No, you're getting smart. Come on, we're leaving for San Pedro right now. Better stay down here, Shannon. Keep under cover. You're ready to pull out about midnight. I'll take care of the grub and everything. You're late. What kept you? Thank you. I'm sticking my neck out plenty being here at all. Look at this. Statewide search for escaped convict. Captain of the yard dies, second victim of two sensational jailbreak. Reward, dead or alive. That screw had it coming to him. Yeah, well, you got a burn coming to you if we don't lamb out of here in a hurry. We got to beat it to the open sea before them harbor cops get snoopy. Yeah, bring this along. We got a little cargo to pick up. Say, are you nuts? You gonna pull that job with them cops on your tail the way they oh, are? I'll quit squawking, will you? We gotta have dough, ain't we? Mushy and Mac will have it all set. It'll be a pushover. Hello? Joaquin! What happened? Where on earth are you? I'm at the harbor in San Pedro. The Lottie B. Tied up alongside a pier... Pier 18. I can't get away, but... I've got to see you tonight. And hurry. Hurry, I haven't got much time. All right, darling, I'll be right there. But, but what... Somebody might see us. Oh. oh, darling. I've been nearly frantic. The police are looking for you. Well, they'll have to find me first. South America's a long way off. South America? Yeah. But I couldn't go without seeing you. Oh, Jean, it means a fresh start. A chance of happiness. Means I'll be able to send for you soon. And... You can't do that, Joaquin. You'd be a fugitive, a criminal. What do you think I've been all these months? A jailbird, an ex con, facing a stone wall at every turn. 
What chance is there for a paroled convict? The world has no use for him, no place for him, no job for him. Haven't got a job, they send you back to jail. And there you rot for a few more years, and the whole thing begins all over again. Well, it's a swell merry-go-round, but this is where I'm getting off. Oh, no, darling. Jean, don't you see this is our only chance to live again? Oh, then we haven't a chance. What kind of a life would that be? No home, no country, no peace of mind. Only fear, suspicion, lies. You wouldn't be happy doing that. Oh, don't you see, darling, don't you see? No. All I can see is gray walls and iron bars and marching feet and bitter, hopeless faces. Everything else is just words. Jean. Soapy. What's that guy doing here? Never mind now. We gotta get out of here quick. Come on, Soapy. Soapy, you hurt bad. What happened? You heard what he said, Sturdude. Cut this tub loose and head out to sea. Come on, I'll put you ashore. Oh, no, you don't. You stay right here, sister. You're gonna take a little cruise. I don't know what you've been up to, but I got a good idea. I'm getting her out of here. Not and stay healthy, you don't. She stays right here. One yap out of her and the harbor cops would be right on us. Go on over there and see if you can make yourself useful. Try and do something for Sophie. Now, you and me are gonna cut this boat loose. Go up on deck and don't try any funny business, or I'll let you have just what I gave two other guys. Go on, get out of here. Look after him. Don't get any ideas in your head, sir, dude. I'm gonna stick right here for quite a while. Be like this with a swell looking dame taking care of me. Hey, lady. Shannon's the right guy. Tell him Soapy didn't mean to put him in a spot. You mustn't talk anymore now. Uh, there's something he must know. Yes. Red. Red is the man. Yes. How's Sophie? His troubles are over. Dead? Poor Sophie. Sophie said to tell you he was sorry he got you in a jam. Yeah, I know. Listen, Joaquin. He told me Big Red killed Joe. Big Red? Yes, he not only killed my brother, but he killed a guard breaking out of prison. And he's a guy I've been serving all this time for. What are you doing? I'm going back. That's what he thinks, lady. But he's gonna change his mind, ain't you, Stir Dude? Well, ain't you? All right, Red. I guess you win. Now you're talking. Skipper, are you? Get up there and head it back to land while I make our passenger comfortable. Aye, aye, sir. Now, 
That's right, Skipper. Due north. Mm -hmm. They can't send you back to prison now, can they, Walking? Not when I deliver Big Red to them, they can't. I'll get out of this with a clean slate. Red Kincaid. And all the time, I thought it was another guy that killed Joe. Who? Well, I thought it was Chris. Oh, Keen, what a swell guy you are. <laughs> They'll never get you away from me again.